welcome back today we're going to be changing the rear wheel bearing on my Yamaha FZ1 I think it's just the uh, wheel bearing that sits inside the sprocket cover cush cover um, so it shouldn't be too difficult a job to do I don't have any press or any specialized tools in order to do this so um, it's going to be a bit of a trial and error uh, situation if you find this interesting and it's something that you like to see more of on the channel please stay tuned to the end because i've got a bit of exciting news um, regarding what we're going to do to the yamaha fz1 um, in the coming weeks <music> So then, Ness, let's have our first patient. What you can see here is the um, axle, the spacers, and the assembly for the wheel. I've taken this out and I've kept it in order so I know exactly um, how to put it all back together. It will all be cleaned up before I put it back, but we'll get to that stage um, a little bit later on. Let's just get this out of the way then. And we'll take a closer look at the wheel. And there she is. There's the rear wheel. So the anatomy of a wheel then. We've obviously got our aluminium um, cast wheel. The rubber on the outside. The sprocket and the cush bearings and the wheel assembly inside here so before we go any further i'm just going to glove up i'm going to grab myself a rag And we're going to inspect everything looks okay in there to be perfectly honest with you we'll just move this out of the way and we'll take a look at the socket or rather the sprocket ring so in the sprocket ring there's loads of grime and dirt uh, but the bearing lives in there so let's uh, let's clean Let's clean it out. Let's have a bit of a clean up. So I've got a couple of bits of old wood here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, sprocket nuts nuts down, as so to speak, to lift it up and allow for the uh, the wheel bearing to be uh, knocked out. So before we go any further, let's take a look inside. We'll remove this dust cap. And that pinged off out the way. Interior. We can see the, uh, the cushion inside where the bearing sits up against. Clean it out. So what we'll do then? We'll get a bit of the uh, WD in there. We'll just prepare the surfaces, ensuring that they're nice and clean before we put in our bearing. Whilst you're here, inspect for any cracks, any damage, of which there is none on this, so pretty pleased about that. There's a bit of corrosion just out on the outside 
ridge here so I'm just going to get in there and gently remove that all that's left to do now is get the new one in add a little bit of grease nothing too much just on the outside surface to assist it home offer it up to the surface and using even pressure seat it in now in order to return it like I said I haven't got a puller or a push so I'm actually going to tap it in using the original seal Now can you hear that? There's a pitch change. That tells me that it's now sat where it needs to be. Now all we have to do is remove this old one, little by little. Just take it steady. You don't want to be causing any damage. Remember, we're just trying to solve the issue of a lack of tools here. This is just to show you that it is possible. There we go, it's out. Let's just double check. Run your finger on the inside. Inspect. The ring has no damage whatsoever. Let's turn it upside down and show you from the other side. So as you can see from now, wheel bearing is now seated exactly where it should be. So now that's done, let's just double check, make sure that the inside surface is nice and clean. It's a bit overkill, but whilst we're here, why not? We're going to take out the dust cover, the new dust cover. I'm going to repeat the process. I'm just going to whack some grease outside edge and this time we're just going to press fit it there we go that's got it nice and clean ensuring that it's definitely sat in place the bearing is nice and free moving and that's the sprocket done. What I am going to do is going to clean it up because it is absolutely filthy.
there we have it. The rear wheel assembly is now finished and she's ready to go back on the bike. So that's it then, that's the wheel bearing replaced. Now put the rear tyre on the back of the bike and she's all ready to go. However, like I said earlier in the video, we're not actually going to be uh, doing very much with the uh, bike at the moment because I'm going to be doing a full respray. That's all the panels, the tank and uh, some of the framework as well and give her a fresh new individual look. So there's going to be a new series starting in relation to that, me prepping all the panels, fixing all the panels and then prepping to spray paint and then spraying myself. It's all going to be by aerosol. So if that's something that you're going to be interested in, subscribe to the channel, please leave a comment, uh, please share this with your friends and then uh, click that notification bell. Stay tuned until the next episode. Until then, see you soon.